Welcome to TradeHacking.com's market recap for September 28th, 2015. U.S. stocks closed sharply lower Monday as uncertainty about the timing of an interest rate hike and concerns about global economic growth continued to weigh on the sentiment of the stock markets. The S&P 500 closed down around 2.25%, falling below the psychological key level of 1900 for the first time since late August. Healthcare for more than 4% as the greatest decliner, which continues a downtrend, and the healthcare is now in a bear market. The Dow Jones Industrial Average closed near session lows, off about 312 points, but holding just above the psychological key level of 16,000 even. Earlier, the Dow Jones Industrial Average dipped below 16,000 for the ter first time since beginning of September. The last close under that level was on August 25th, one day after the market went down over 1,000 points intraday. Banks are under pressure as Goldman Sachs plunged nearly 3.8% as the greatest weight on the blue chip index. The Dow and S&P are on track for their worst quarter in four years. Market leaders also showed weakness as Apple closed down nearly 2% despite news that it sold more than 13 million units with their new iPhone 6S and 6S Plus models in a record first weekend of sales. The Nasdaq composite closed down 3%, pressured by a 6.3% decline in iShares Nasdaq Biotechnology ETF, IBB. That ETF fell further into bear market territory, or more than 20%, from its 52-week high. For the day, the Dow Jones Industrial Average closed down 312.78 points, with the S&P closing down almost 50 points. The Nasdaq composite closed down over 142 points for the day, with the Russell Small and Mid Caps closing down more than 32 points. The Nasdaq 100, mostly made up of technology and biotechnology companies, fell 121.5 points today. Taking a look at commodities and interest rates, WTI crude oil closed at $44.48 a barrel. It settled down $1.22 per barrel. Gold closed at $11.31.30 an ounce, down $14.30. Silver closed at $14.57 an ounce, which was down more than half a dollar per ounce. Copper closed at $2.25, down $0.04, cents. and the 10-year Treasury bond closed at 2.095% interest, which is down a little bit more than 0.07% in interest rate. So our short-term market outlook is consistent with the post that we've been putting on TradeHacking.com. We believe that the selling pressure is going to continue. We also believe that we're going to revisit the lows of October of 2014. That's going to be very important to see if we can hold there. We think that we've actually entered a bear market, and this is just not a correction as everybody's thinking. We don't go by that 10% is a correction, 20% is a bear market. Things are down and they look down. We're, our strategy is to sell into market strength. So if you get a big day to the upside, we're looking to sell into that and to go short. I also like to look at options during this time and to sell options premiums into the higher volatility. So we're getting some nice premiums right now on the sell side because the volatility has increased. One of my favorite trades is to do diagonal spreads. So go to TradeHacking.com for more information on that. That's the market recap for September 28, 2015. Have a great night, traders.